everybody is talking about Flavius with Scipio. And so in this video, I'm going to talk about why that garrison is working. The situations where you can get away with using it and punish the hell out of your enemy, like you see a little bit here and here against a swarmer, and the situations where you might actually find yourself getting kind of wrecked because you use this garrison incorrectly or in a way that certainly is not optimal. So stick around in this video for the breakdown of what in the world, what in the heck is going on with Flavia Scipio. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskool Gaming, and this video is sponsored by the makers of Rise of Kingdoms, and today I'm going to very concisely explain to you why it is that the Flavia Scipio garrison is working. And credit where credit is due, I think this is important to give credit, which is that Legend Ronnie made a video about this combo over a month ago, and I kind of dismissed it, and I was like, bruh, like, this has got to be so swarmable. No way can you get away with this in a meta kingdom. So let's address that right now. Now, is the Flavius Scipio garrison swarmable? And how does it compare to what I think is generally the meta stronger garrison, and that is Zeno with Flavius? So let's break down what's happening here. First of all, Scipi works with Flavius purely because of Scipi's expertise. He makes it so that when the target is silenced, you generate rage faster. Well, guess what? Flavius will silence the target based on a damage over time effect being applied. Now, Flavius can apply that effect himself, and Skippy does have one of those effects too that also works. In fact, Skippy only has one skill that's not relevant here, and that's the fourth skill because he's not on the map when he's in the garrison. So Flavius and Skippy might actually be the highest skill damage garrison that we have in the game, not by a little, but actually by a wide margin, because his damage factor plus AoE is extremely strong. So where is Skippy and Flavius good? The Flavius-Skippy combo works when you have a high troop count in the garrison to both take advantage of extremely high skill damage and also to make yourself more punishing if you get swarmed. And this garrison is bad in, I would argue, flags, where you are much more swarmable with only 2 million troops present. The reason that I generally advocate for the Xeno over the Skippy is that you're getting a massive uh, damage taken reduction and damage dealt boost for swarming situations. 15% less normal attack damage taken and 15% more normal attack damage dealt is actually kind of a big deal. However, a lot of kingdoms just don't even swarm, which is really weird, or they don't know how to swarm properly. And for kingdoms that don't get that right, um, which is, I mean, like, look, I made a whole video about this. I'll have a card up in the top. I'll remind you at the end, if you want to swarm a garrison, exactly how to do it properly. Even big kingdoms with experienced players have swarmers that do it wrong. And when they mess that up, they actually end up really harming their teammates as well, which I explain in depth in that other video. So all that to say, if you want to garrison with the Flavia Skippy, then put it into a three mil cap structure. Ideally, that would be a fort or even better, it would be a pass. And the reason I say even better would be a pass is because if you put it into a pass, only three marches can hit this thing at a time. And I've seen reports where honestly, the Flavia Skippy does well against multi-rallies. I will say the key to making this work is that if you're defending something like a pass, you need to have multiple captains at the ready. I think I was describing this maybe earlier in the video as well. So like two or three other captains with either the exact same combo or even just like a Xeno YSS so that when your march gets low as the captain, you can swap it out and replace. And this is especially true in the situation where you're defending a fort where it can be swarmed 11x and there's a rally on it as well. In that context especially, if you want to use the Flavia Scipio garrison, you need to have a couple things be true. One, multiple captains at the ready, and two, you must top that thing off. It is very, very punishing to swarm any garrison if it's kept topped, if it has any amount of counterattack and anti-swarm technology. And I think... The reason why a Monitori Artemisia gets absolutely 
raffle stomped in a garrison, okay, even a, a fort, um, is that you simply have no anti-swarm whatsoever. Like, I think you take 10% less normal attack damage from Artemisia, that's it. Whereas the base level of anti-swarm in Flavius is actually a lot better. Like, not a little better, but a lot better. And how much better are we talking here? He's got 20% counterattack, which is a big deal. He's got 10% all damage, which is a big deal. And he takes 10% less normal attack damage. That is enough anti-swarm alone from his kit such that if you keep this thing topped off in a fort, I think you're going to do fine, even if they swarm it with meta marches. Now, I don't think you'll do as fine as you would with a Xeno, and that is purely because she's got that extra, like, it's a 30% normal attack damage buffer. That's a big deal. Now, there's a couple other things, obviously, that we need to talk about. One of them is simply the talent options. And this is also a part of the reason that the Flavius Scipio combo is working. Okay, if you wanted a truly wicked full infantry build, I actually think this might be the way to do it. If you really could get full infantry in there, my God, man. Um, there's a couple things going on here that are really important to talk about. First of all, you have even more boosted skill damage on, I think, the highest skill damage garrison in the game, if you're using Flavius and Skippy together. You get 3% more skill damage dealt over here, 6% over here. You've got another 6% on the secondary, that's the 2,000 damage factor on the Skippy over here. And I even threw in some extra damage over time points to be, to be just extra punishing, okay, <laughs> from your damage over time effects from latent power. This is pretty wicked. And if you get swarmed, you're going to rage cap, which means you're losing the benefit of that extra rage gen from the Skippy expertise skill because you were going to hit max rage per turn anyways. That's something that I've covered in depth in other videos. I'll have a card up in the top if you wanted to see how rage capping works. Um, and again, credit where credit is due. I think that was very much popularized by John Wick. So um, the rejuvenate points over here generating rage. Yeah, you lose out on that when you're getting swarmed. But the majority of this tree as I've built it, you're still getting the benefit of pretty much everything. Whereas... Weirdly enough, yes, the Xeno has some good anti-swarm, but, like, look at this tree for a minute. If you are rage capping because your garrison's getting swarmed, this whole branch of her talents is basically irrelevant. This rage gen is irrelevant. This rage gen is irrelevant. The march speed is obviously irrelevant. The only thing she has as an upside is that she is going to reduce your skill damage taken by 3% more over here. And then a triggered 15% skill damage taken reduction over here is pretty solid in the situation where you're getting swarmed. I will argue, however, it's like not quite as good as you might think it would be with her talent tree. Like I know the support tree is really good anti-skill damage, but when you have as much skill damage as you do on the Flavia Skippy, like you can see why you have to punish it by swarming if you can or you're going to really hurt from the damage that's being dealt. So where do I land with this garrison? I think that if you really feel like you can get away with punishing an enemy, you've got the backup captains at the ready, just like you would need with a JAD YSS, like it's not that complicated, and you pick a structure that's got a large capacity, I, I think you can use it, and I think you can do a lot of damage. And I know Cortex might have some counter argument, maybe we bring him onto a uh, video or stream and he can air his grievances, and I mean that respectfully, but like also you can't deny the results and the results are pouring in, man. And a lot of people are getting a lot of value with this garrison in a way that I genuinely, I have to admit, I didn't expect it. However, what I want to see more of, and I have not seen one single meta swarming report against this garrison yet. And that's what I want to see to really believe <laughs> that like, okay, it can't be swarmed. Right, And I think the Flavius might be carrying that by having just enough anti-swarm and the Skippy does just enough AoE damage that even if it's getting swarmed, I think it does fine. Fine enough that you can't just swarm it with anything and expect to do well, as you saw in the report that I shared during this video. Or did I share it? Hold on, let me, give, let me get a look at that. If you swarm a Flavius Skippy, but you don't use meta marches, what do I mean? Well... What happens is you get kind of wrecked. Now, this is a meta march, 
but swarming with 246 is not where you want to be. You want to swarm with 430, right? This is not a meta swarming march. Uh, 290 at the start is not enough troops, right? Like, yeah, here's a here's a meta march, right? And it did well. This this is a fine trade for getting a burn, which they did. And this report goes on and on where there's like stuff that was really good to swarm with and stuff that was not. I just want to see one report from the garrison's perspective where a bunch of people, like five players with meta marches are swarming. And what happens? That's that's what I want to see. Here's the here's the Guan Leo crushing it. I'm, I'm completely unsurprised. This is doing extremely well. It always does well. <laughs> oh, you got to love Leo, man. Right. And there's other marches I would expect to do well, but. Like, also, do we, we don't know if this was, like, run to sad face or how this was executed. I guess it doesn't say defeat, so it wasn't sad faced. But, I mean, it's doing well enough that it's not just like, oh, swarm it with whatever, which I think was my impression before. But as we looked more closely at Flavius' skills here, he's actually maybe got enough to, pun intended, hold down the fort, right? That is, honestly, good, good enough, man. You just gotta, like a Jad, you know, YSS, have the backup. If you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor, throw a like on here and consider subscribing. We watched uh, this report and more unfold uh, on the live stream yesterday. So the card will be in the top for that, for the video about how to properly swarm a garrison. And do me that huge favor if you enjoyed this video, throw a like on here, subscribe to the channel. It supports the channel tremendously. Until next time. Oh my God, this report's still going. Oh man. GG, starting a swarm with 175 and running it to sad face. That hurts. That that's painful. Yikes. Maybe maybe they disconnected, you know? Maybe they disconnected. There's a Guan Leo. Did just okay. Oh god. The the feeling when you think you're reinforcing your own garrison. I don't even know what's going on here. Like a YSS primary, Xeno secondary. Run to sad face. It must have disconnect, disconnected or something, man. Oh, God. Okay. This is... Oh, uh, it's too much. It's too much. Skippy CJ did pretty good. Oh, man. I can't. I just can't. Check the videos up in the top for swarming. Everybody should watch that and learn how to swarm properly. Until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.